Welcome again. Right now we're at Philippians chapter 4, verses 2 to 9. Walking in peace. Paul continues, I exhort Euodia and I exhort Syntyche to think the same way in the Lord. Yes, I beg you also, true partner, help these women. For they labored with me in the good news with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. And this is just yet another exhibit against the whole idea that every single word of the New Testament is God speaking to you today, as if it's God speaking directly to you today. If that's the case, you better go find these two women and exhort them. But obviously, this is Paul speaking here. This is not God speaking directly. Paul is not speaking like a prophet saying, thus saith the Lord. No, this is Paul speaking in and of himself, speaking to the believers in Philippi. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever things are true, whatever things are honorable, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue or if there is any praise, think about these things. The things which you learned, received, heard, and saw in me. Do these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.